Here's Spencer Watts of Watts on the Grill with a bit of barbecue and a bit of banana. Now I'm a man of my word, and I told you I was gonna show you all of my secrets to great barbecued fish. Speaking of great fish, this is swordfish. And I'm gonna top these guys with fresh island salsa and toasted coconut. But there's a few ways to tell if your fish is fresh. One, it needs to have a little bounce, a little give, and there's a little line through it. The line should be dark red. If it's brown, the fish is no good. But to me, that is gorgeous. So the Atlantic salmon got an outside glaze of raspberries, ginger, smoked paprika. And I'm gonna do something a little different with the swordfish. I'm gonna give it an inside marinade. And the marinade is dead simple. Let's get on it. Just to finish this marinade, a little splash of white wine. You can use whatever wine that you have lying around. Even day-old wine is good. I wouldn't use red wine, it kind of stains the fish. And a little silky smooth olive oil. Swordfish is really delicate, has a mild flavor, and I kind of want to mirror that with the marinade. With some fresh thyme, garlic, shallots, wine, seasoning, and olive oil. A couple hours in the fridge, you're ready for the grill. Ask anybody who knows me, and they're gonna tell you two things. I love salsas with fish, and I'm charming. Salsas are a great way to add a lot of flavor and excitement to mild fish, and I usually start mine with a little bit of onion. And I really like to use whatever's fresh in the garden. And right now, I have some beautiful tomatoes, so no seeds, just a nice soft flesh. And I always like some garden fresh herbs in my salsa. Whatever you have fresh is great. This is an island salsa, so I'm gonna put some cilantro and fresh parsley. Now you cannot, I repeat, you cannot have an island salsa without a lot of citrus. So time for the triple citrus bomb. This coconut is sweetened coconut, and it's the perfect sweetness for the salsa. Everything in life is about balance, and I love a little fire in my salsa. And I always make my own hot sauces, and today, medium heat. All right, this is the best part. Look at the texture in that salsa. It screams island style. So I've taken the swordfish out of the marinade, and I've saved some of the shallots, the garlic, and the thyme, because that's flavor. I'm not gonna waste it, and I'm gonna put it on the fish at the end. And I always like to pat it dry after the marinade. It just kinda soaks up any moisture that's on the top and gets it ready for some good charring. Oil the fish, oil the grill. Okay, so barbecue, high heat, full wax. When you first put it on, a little bit of patience goes a long way. The fish will let you know when it's ready to be flipped, and this is what I mean. Just very gently see if it's ready to come off the grill. If it moves like that, you're ready for a quarter turn. Check it. Gorgeous, right? All right, first part's done, let's flip it. Beautiful.
Turn down the heat now. We're kind of done with all the aggressive charring. So you can turn down the barbecue, close the lid, and in about a minute, those onions are gonna soften up, the fish is gonna be perfectly cooked, and I get to eat. This is my idea of fast food. Fast marinating time, fast cooking time, all flavor. I even like some of the juices that are in here. All deliciousness. Don't forget it. Love it. Embrace it. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfectly cooked. It's like a tropical flavor grenade went off in my mouth. From the coconut and the citrus and the salsa to the fresh marinade with herbs and wine in the fish, it's got it all.